Hello everyone, X Walk Hill Bethelite here. And I just got a, a call, a very disturbing call. And from the sounds of it, it sounds like we're going to have a situation with uh, child sex abuse uh, like we did when Jehovah's Witnesses had the home book study arrangement. Right. With all those kids going to different people's homes and not being watched by their Jehovah's Witness parent and being allowed to be molested. Well, now the situation we have is Jehovah's Witnesses have lowered the hour requirement for regular pioneering to about 50 hours. They've lowered the hourly requirement for auxiliary pioneers to about 30 hours. Now, from what I've been told by about three different people in three different states is that there is a big push for kids to start pioneering or auxiliary pioneering especially auxiliary pioneering. The problem with this is oftentimes the child's parent is not auxiliary pioneering with them. The child is being picked up by whoever comes from the kingdom hall to come pick them up and then is driven off alone with some adult. What you have to understand is that when Watchtower had all those child sex abuse cases uh, because of the book study arrangement and, and, and eventually got rid of the whole arrangement, they stopped having people go to everybody's private homes. Right, just whoever's private home and bringing your kid with you. <laughs> they had to stop that because of all the kids that were being molested. Or at least I'm hearing that's one of the, the reasons. Well, this new situation where Watchtower has lowered the hour requirement so that they can do a big push to get their numbers of people who they can put on paper as regular pioneering, as auxiliary pioneering to make it look like their organization is making some kind of growth. They can say, well, we've got more pioneers now. We've got more auxiliary pioneers now. Watchtower doesn't care if those auxiliary pioneers or new regular pioneers are kids or not. And that is a big problem because all these kids that are being picked up by random people, I was just on the phone with somebody and they were livid. They were livid because they have a, a relative who is in the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses. And that relative doesn't watch their kid at all. They don't watch their kid at all. They're just pushing their kid to auxiliary pioneer. Why? It makes the parent look good. The parent may not be in a situation where they have the means to be able to regular pioneer, even though the hour requirement has been dropped to 50 or auxiliary pioneer. But if someone in their family, say a teenage girl who's not even 18 years old, this girl could be 13, 12, 14 years old. If the parent pushes the child, the young teenage girl or young teenage boy to auxiliary pioneer, it makes the parent look good in the eyes of the cult. And that parent is not paying attention to who is picking up their child. Just as long as it's another cult member, they think everything is going to be fine. 
as long as it's another cult member who is also pioneering or auxiliary pioneering, that cult believes the person can do no wrong. The adult can pick up anybody's kid and just be unsupervised with them. This situation is going to end up worse than the book study arrangement. But the, the, the problem is we don't want, uh, even though it's good that Watchtower is held accountable legally for the pedophilia and child molestation, uh, we want to prevent it from happening at all, if possible. So we need to come up with a way to watch out for these, these kids. If you have relatives who are in the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses, you have to understand that all the pedophiles in that cult are all using this new lowered hour arrangement to say, hey, during the summer, your kid, there's no reason your kid can't auxiliary pioneer. They're off school. So why not have them auxiliary pioneer? It'll, it'll boost their spirituality. Some of them might even make them regular pioneer and get the 50 hours. But the 30, they're looking at it as, hey, if your kids aren't in school, or if you homeschool them and they can get their schoolwork done rather quickly, why not have your underage child auxiliary pioneer? Won't it boast of their spirituality? But the parent is not off work for the summer, so the parent would still have to work. Watchtower has no protection at all in place for the kids. So since this is so blatant in their attempts to get kids alone with people away from their parents, I think that Watchtower is legally bound or, or, or legally responsible uh, for what would then happen as a result of them pushing all these underage kids little girls and little boys to go out for 30 hours a month, 50 hours a month with some stranger, some stranger who is also an occult member. This is bad. And I knew it was bad because I would get a call from one person and they're talking about it. Then I get a call from another person. These two people don't know each other. And they're talking about, man, all these kids are being taken off out in the quote unquote field ministry to get their 30 hours in by people who are not their parent. This is blatant. Jehovah's Witnesses have got to have the worst culture for pedophiles of any other group there is. If you have family that are Jehovah's Witnesses, recognize this danger. Recognize that your relatives who are underage are at a higher risk of being molested because they are more likely because of that cult to be left alone with someone who their indoctrinated parents in their mind think, well, as long as it's another cult member, as long as it's another Jehovah's Witness, I can just trust them to be alone with my kids, even though I have no idea if in their background they're actually a pedophile or not. I don't know at all in their background if they're on the sex abuse registry. I don't know if in their background they've actually been to prison for molesting kids. I don't know any of that, but as long as they are in the cult, 
I'm going to trust them with my kids, send them off with these strangers. And in the end, I get my ego boosted because my kids are pioneering. My kids are auxiliary pioneering for the summer. We're so spiritual. A spiritual person would not leave their kids to be molested. A spiritual person would know to be on guard because we can't read a person's motives. We can't read a person's heart. Just because a person is a, is a Jehovah's Witness doesn't automatically mean they can do no wrong. So when I got the third call, that's when I knew this can't be going on in three different states. And I'm getting reports from all these different people. If there isn't some sort of coordinated effort to say, hey, Watchtower got rid of the book study. We had to get rid of the book study arrangement where it's harder to molest kids because... Not only did they get rid of the book state arrangement, but everyone was going to meetings over Zoom, right? All those pedophiles now are doing backflips. This is, this Jehovah's Witnesses are the pedophile lottery. Like they have hit the lottery with every kid in the organization is now going to be getting pushed to go out and, and, be in the ministry and Watchtower is not going to encourage the parents to go along with them. This is a level of neglect that is blatant. There's certain types of neglect uh, that is so blatant, you should be criminally liable if your kid is off with someone and you don't know that person well. I don't want to hear, oh, they just go to my church. I don't want to hear, oh, the, we're just in the same cult. I'm talking removing the child from the home of the Jehovah's Witness cult member if we see it. This is what I'm talking about. We need to be able to call CPS. If we're seeing strangers going to our, regular, our, our relatives' homes, and picking up the kids, and we know full well the only thing they know about this person is they've been going to the same kingdom hall. We ought to be able to call CPS. Like it's 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 the level of neglect is so high that CPS or, or somebody should be able to look at this and say, Yeah, y'all just sending your kids off with whoever. Y'all are sending them off with whoever. There's 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 no one in your family going with them to, to, to watch out for them. You especially want to be wary where you have congregations. This is another thing somebody called me about is that you have a congregation where uh, you got a lot of teenage girls, right? And then there's a push to auxiliary pioneer and you have several of these teenage girls sign up to Auxiliary Pioneer, uh, possibly even regular Pioneer. And then all of a sudden after that, you got all these older men signing up to Auxiliary Pioneer after they did. So from what I'm hearing, the number of Auxiliary Pioneers that are men sometimes directly coincide with how many of them kids they see sign up also. Because if the men sign up to auxiliary pioneer and these kids are doing the same thing, the possibility of the, the man and that kid being alone at some point in time is very high. I'm talking man not in this kid's family or woman or woman being alone with some young boy is very high. The possibilities are very high. And if Jehovah's Witnesses, and I'm talking about, I'm hearing this from three different states. So if that many people in the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses are 
that neglectful with their children, the children need to be removed. The children need to have CPS checking on them and, and talking to them and asking them, are your parents pressuring you to leave the house for hours on end with strangers or to leave the house for hours on end with people who are not in your family, who the only reason they signed up to Auxiliary Pioneer is to be able to be alone with all these kids they're pressuring to do it. I feel bad for the kids. Some of these kids don't, they don't have a, a, a way of uh, communicating that they're uncomfortable with this person. This person is touching them. Some of these kids, you have to understand, not only are they born and raised in a cult that is probably more pro-pedophile than any other. I'm talking even the Mormons are sending out other Mormons in twos and the other Mormon typically is someone the same age and of the same sex. You'll see two women who are Mormons going out, talking to people. You'll see two uh, young men who are Mormons going out and talking. to people. Even the Mormon church knows not to just be totally neglectful and just send whoever out with whoever. But that's the situation with Jehovah's Witnesses. Where Jehovah's with all they care about is the numbers. They just want people to sign up. They don't care if people are signing up because the kids are doing it. The kids are being pushed to do it. So you've got kids who are born and raised in this cult that has been pro-pedophile for, for so long. And that kid can also be homeschooled. So not only are they surrounded by cult members in their family. They're homeschooled, so they don't have anybody to talk to uh, at a school, such as a school counselor or anything like that, uh, to help them out. And they're being pressured by their parents to go out and auxiliary pioneer, a regular pioneer. They don't really have an out. What are they going to do? Tell their parent no? And they're 14? They don't really have an out. And then this weird, strange guy comes over and says, hey, I'll take your daughter out in the ministry. Yeah, well, I'll help her get her time in. I'll help that little girl get her time out in and out in the ministry. Yeah, I'll set up a cart way out in the, in the woods somewhere. and We'll stand next to the cart way out secluded. There's no one watching them. I'm not convinced that the whole reason Sanderson and the other governing body members didn't do this is because they know this is going to pressure all the Jehovah's Witnesses to send their little kids out. And then they can be preyed upon. Right? You got to understand that people cater to their audience or people cater to their customer base. Uh, Jehovah's Witnesses, a lot of their customer base is are, they're pedophiles. So to keep the pedophiles happy, I'm telling you, I do not think it's far-fetched that Watchtower came up with this concept that, hey, we're going to push the kids to auxiliary pioneer and we're going to lower the numbers down to 30, for, 30 hours for auxiliary pioneering, knowing that's going to pressure the kid to the point where if they say, no, I don't want auxiliary pioneer, we're just going to start tr treating them like they're not spiritual because we're going to think, well, you've got no excuse not to auxiliary pioneer. That's going to virtually force this kid out to be alone away from their parents at some point. So... This is almost a brilliant plan for pedophiles to be able to get a hold of kids uh, and molest them. And some of them don't have no recourse because some of them, they're homeschooled. They're never not around the cult. So we need to come up with it. We're, we're pretty much uh, the only ones fighting for those, those kids. 
uh, you know, the, the concerned relative could go and talk to the cult member, but the cult member is, is mentally incapable of watching out for their, their children. It's almost like telling a drunk person, someone heavily under the influence of alcohol, to do a better job watching your kids. No, if they're stone drunk all the time, CPS or somebody's going to come take the kids. Because you can't watch them and you're mentally incapacitated. Jehovah's Witnesses are mentally incapacitated. Anybody in a doomsday cult that's predicted the end of the world multiple times and they stay there, that get their teachings wrong all the time and they stay there, that has people asking to take your little kids out in field service or, or people have asked to take uh, children that are not theirs out on trips. I want to take them out to the park. I want to take them out fishing to be alone on a boat with me off somewhere fishing. This is not unusual amongst Jehovah's Witnesses. The pedophiles just prey on all these mentally incapacitated cult members. It's probably the worst cult as far as pedophiles going and preying on children. Jehovah's Witnesses have got to be the worst cult because it's anybody. It's not just priests. It's anybody in the building that will be let, left alone. You can't compare this to the Catholic Church. The, the, the priests were primarily doing it in the Catholic Church. As bad as that is, it wasn't anybody in the church the parent would send the kids off with them. No, it was just priests with Jehovah's Witnesses. It's anybody in the kingdom hall, anybody in the church, anybody in the cult can gain access to these kids. 937-789-4029, we'll discuss it. We need to come up with a way to, uh, it's getting so bad with children being put in danger that it's getting to the point where we almost need to come up with a way that a professional can just do audits, do Kingdom Hall audits, and just ask the children if they've been ever ma been made to feel uncomfortable. There has to be a way to protect the kids. And if they're just letting them go all willy-nilly with whoever, there needs to just be Kingdom Hall audits where people go to the Kingdom Hall and while there, ask the parents, ask the, ki the, ch the children, you ever been uh, left to feel uncomfortable around a stranger? Uh, when you go door to door, do you only go with your parents or do you go with other people? There's nothing wrong with asking them that. If they're telling you, and they're underage and they're telling you, no, my parents don't come with me. I'm, I'm being picked up by random people. There you go. Let's call CPS. Let's, let's, let's do something about this. So let's come up with some ideas. Give me some ideas in the chat of what we can do because this horrifies me. I've got relatives who are in that cult. And, and yes, their parents are stupid enough to let their child be molested by some other cult member because they just refuse to supervise them. They refuse to watch them. They will allow them to go off with whoever. So comment down below. Let's get some ideas together on how we can help protect uh, the kids, not just in the community, but definitely the kids in our own families. I'm talking, we may need to talk gaining uh, custody of kids, if if you got kids in your family that are being put in danger by, by pedophilia and being left alone with strangers, I'm talking, we may need to talk about you gaining custody of those kids and just supervising them, giving them a, a better chance of not being sexually molested. So comment down below, let me know what you think. X-Wall Kill Bethelite signing out.